So welcome. I'm in the south of France. It's where I live. And I want to know, one, have you ever been to the south of France? Let me know in the comment section below. So you're crushing it at work, but you suck at love. And you're like, Erica, you know, I never thought of it that way. But damn, since you just put it so point blank like that, yeah, let's talk about it. You know, a lot of times when I'm working with clients, they kill it in the workforce, whether they own their own company, they're an entrepreneur, or they're in a company where they really excel. Typically, they do really well in the workplace, but when it comes to dating, when it comes to finding love, they really just strike out. And so a lot of times they'll come to me and say, you know, I do really good in my career. I make really good money, but I just can't seem to find the right person. And so most of the time they'll tell me that like for my male clients, they'll say, you know, like women just don't take me seriously. I can't get a second date. There's this woman I've had my eyes on forever. I've tried everything to pursue her and she just writes me off. Or if I'm working with a woman, she'll say, you know, like I just can't find a guy that's on my level. You know, I've worked so hard to achieve what I've achieved, but I just can't find that connection with someone, that connection that goes both ways. Either they're emotionally unavailable or there's just some type of dynamic that causes things not to work between us. Listen, if that's you, at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some tips throughout this video, but at the end of this video, if you really want to change this, I'm serious, like this is your priority in life. You're not just, you know, goofing off with your time. I wanted to say another word, sticking around, you know, with your time and you're really serious about this. I'm gonna tell you what is the ultimate thing that needs to transition in your life to really get that loving partner, to get that, you know, companion that you want in your life. So here's the thing, let's just break down the fundamental thing that you might be thinking in your mind that like A plus B should equal C. And what I mean by that is, okay, well, I'm successful here, Erica. I'm successful at work. I kick ass at work, therefore, I should be successful in every area of my life. Now, some of you who are a little bit more conscious, you're gonna go wrong because, and you know it's wrong, why? Because you're having that experience right now. You're, you either get rejected or you just feel like you're going from one date to the next, but you're not meeting that substantial person that can be your lifelong partner. First, it's just getting super clear about that, that like what makes you successful at work does not always translate when it comes to relationships. Think about it. Like when you're at work, you have goals to accomplish. You have a task that need to be written off. And so you can go into your analytical mind and you can perform and you can do all the things that you need to do to make those tasks completed, to show your boss that you can accomplish things, to show your, you know, the people who are on your board that you are a capable CEO, that you're able to run your company. And so logically, you can handle all those logistics. But then you find yourself on a date and you get tongue tied. You don't know what to say. And frankly, let's just be really honest because it's just you and me here. No one else is listening to this. Frankly, your confidence goes out the window. Let's just be really honest. I, I've talked to so many of my clients when they first started working with me, it was like they all admitted the same thing, that they really felt insecurity when it came to dating, when it came to relationships. Whereas in the workplace, they were super confident. They could do anything. You know, yeah, they had their challenges like everyone else. But when it came to going on a date or being in the company of a, a woman or a man, they really just saw all of that confidence just go away. And so it's very difficult for them to reconcile that. But see, a lot of times what we don't take into account is that emotions are there. And so emotions don't always work with what our logic 
processes. You know, logic sees logistics, it sees numbers, it sees a checklist, it needs to see tasks being accomplished. That goal oriented mind. But when it comes to relationships, it's a complete different ball game. And so when it comes to connecting with someone, what do they need to do? They need to feel you. They need to feel that connection. But most people who are successful at work, what they do is they approach dating, they approach relationships with the same logic as they do their work. And it doesn't translate. You know, my partner is always telling me sender, receiver, sender, receiver, like what you're sending out when you're dating, the person's not able to receive it. If you're in a relationship and you guys are struggling, your partner is not able to receive what you're giving. And so most of the time there's that disconnect. And I know it can be incredibly frustrating because in your mind, you are thinking, I'm doing all the right things I know to do. Why is this not translating to the other person? Why am I not getting the results? Why are they not connecting back with me? Why are they not showing me the lot? Why, why do they not respect me? Why are, they, why are they not falling head over heels for me? And so the reality is there's a breakdown in the disconnection. And so typically what you're doing is what you're really performing well at and work. You're thinking that those same tactics are going to follow through in relationships. And frankly, they just don't. So listen, don't freak out. You know, there are many of my clients who have started just where you are, who were really struggling, who weren't taken seriously in dating and relationships and who really transformed. They really evolved to where all of a sudden they're like, I never thought I would see myself here, but that girl I've been pursuing, the woman I've been pursuing is finally like she is attracted to me once and for all, or, you know, I've been attracting these guys or women who are very emotionally unavailable, but all of a sudden that's changed. And now I'm attracting more high caliber guys. So what's the difference? And so that's what my coaching has been able to take my clients through. And listen, if you need support, I, you can go to my website. I've got a free masterclass. After you watch the masterclass, you can book a call with me and see if my coaching will support you, uh, which I know it will. You just have to be in the place to be able to receive. So what is the biggest breakdown in all of this? What is the big enchilada? I'm going to be really honest with you. What it is, is what makes us successful in our workplace. Typically pay attention to this. It's typically driven by our ego, right? Think about it. all the things that make you successful. Typically in the back of your mind, it's like, I've got to prove to my boss. I got to prove to my work colleagues. I got to save face. You know, I got to, I got to show my employees that I'm in control. All of this stuff is very ego based. And so what happens is, and I see this so many times in, in singles and the singles who continue to struggle are the ones who continue to stay in this ego based mindset. So here's the thing. This is a breakdown. All of relationships, think about it. All of relationships come from where? I'll give you a second to answer. Relationship comes from the heart, right? Connection comes from the heart. Two different worlds. One is very fear-based and the other is what? More love conscious. And so if you're like, I didn't even see it that way, or maybe you haven't even come to terms with that. It is very ego based with how you work, but the reality is most of us, in fact, almost all of us, there is a form of ego, which is what I'm not villainizing it. It's what makes us successful in the workplace. And that's great. And we need that to, you know, pay bills, go on vacation, evolve, hire a coach, all those things. Like we need that backing to get us there right from our ego and so i'm not villainizing the ego but i'm saying that what got you to where you are in your career is not going to be the same skill set that's going to be able to take you where you want to be in relationships and so this can become a real like um either identity crisis for some people of just real hopelessness of like 
I'll never be able to do this. Or for those of those people who are like, no, I'm really determined. And if I need to grow up, if I need to transform, if I need to evolve as a human being, because love is really important to me, finding that companion is really important to me, then for you, there are answers. But really it comes down to a very conscious choice for you of, are you willing to evolve as a person? Are you willing to let go of your ego and go, okay, I got it. It made me really successful in work, but it's not gonna take me to where I want to go in relationships. So if I really, really want this, then I have to grow up. I have to change. I have to evolve. And listen, we all, here, here's the secret, we all, go through this. You're not alone. You know, even in my own self, what made me successful as a coach, all of those skills when in my personal relationship, that doesn't mean a lot because all of that has to come from me, from my heart, not just drive, not just pushing, not just building, not just achieving. It's a whole different ball game when it comes to relationships. But when you have that heart posture of I'm willing to evolve. I don't want to stay where I am. And that's not everybody. Look, some people are really happy living from the ego and they just want to accumulate people and like that's their thing. They'll be on apps for the rest of their life, swiping and, and building these pseudo romances and then they come crashing down and then they're always a victim of why do I always have drama in my life? It's like, well, because you're in your ego and you don't want to evolve and so you just keep getting delivered to you what you keep putting out. But then for those of you who are watching this video right now and you're like, no, 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 I'm not living like that jackass. Uh, I've got to build something like that can't be my legacy of like, yeah, he built a great company, but he was an asshole when it came to relationships or, you know, she really didn't know how to connect with people. And so she was a bit of a loner. Like if you don't want that to be your legacy and you want to evolve, then guess what? There, you can, there is opportunity. And like I said, go to my website. I've got plenty of resources there. I've got a free masterclass that will guide you through the five things that you really need to start shifting today, not tomorrow, today. And you can always book a free call with me after you've watched that masterclass. But at the end of the day, listen, people are going to connect with your heart. I'll never forget a business coach told me this. She said, Erica, People will forget what you say, but they will never forget how you make them feel. And so when we're approaching dating and relationships, like it has to come from that place of, are people genuinely connecting with you? Or do you keep finding yourself in one relationship after, after the next, one date after the next, and you're constantly experiencing that disconnection where they just say, Hey, it's, I'm not, I'm not feeling that connection with you. Or they just write you off. They just ghost you or they're wanting to hang out with you as friends, but intimately they don't want to move things forward with you or reality is they just never prioritize you. You're never priority. Typically when you're not someone's priority is because there is a huge disconnect. And I'm here to tell you the truth, whereas they may give you a bunch of excuses and just kind of keep feeding those excuses. I want to tell you the truth. You guys have a major disconnect and that's why it's not going anywhere. So listen, it's your choice. You get to choose. Do you want to be that successful person who stays in their ego? Or do you go, okay, I need to go through an evolution, an evolution of the heart so that people can actually connect with me. And when you do that, here's the beauty. It doesn't just affect your romantic life, no. It starts shaping and forming in every aspect of your life with your family, with your colleagues, with your friends. This transforms all of your relationships, but it ultimately boils down to a choice you have to make. And like I said, if you need help, go to my website. There's a free masterclass there. You can book a call with me after you watch that masterclass. So listen, I've got this next video here that's going to support you. So make sure that you watch that video, and, but know that there are answers, know that you're supported and that you are not alone in this journey of love. Loving you so much, and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Take care, darling.